All right, I'm back. It's time for your vitamin. Of course, we are still here in the big library, the huge library. And we're talking about knowledge. So, because we're in the library, we got to talk about knowledge. We talked about knowledge of your body and why it needs to move. We talked about knowledge of your brain, this thing up here in your... And it's nice, nifty, handy carrying case um, <laughs> that it came with. Uh, hopefully, you take care of both of those. And today, we're going to talk about your heart because you need to know about your heart. I'm not talking about uh, your heart as far as how you feel. We're talking about this thing beating in the chest. So, uh, if you need a graphic of that, since we pulled out the nice big uh, uh, anatomy book last time, here's what your heart looks like that's beating in your chest. Check that bad boy out. Yeah. Not exactly pretty, not like what it looks like in, in the movies. It's not that nice, pretty heart. And believe me, that's a lot prettier than what it looks like in your chest. Uh, but this thing here, it is your ticker. Quite literally, it's your ticker. It quits going, you quit going. So, uh, it is what makes you tick quite literally, okay? In one minute, in fact, it's been about a minute right now, your heart has already pumped about 2,000 gallons through 60,000 miles of veins in your body and returned it right back to itself. That's a lot of mileage. That's a lot of work. And it does it every day, day in, day out, about 100,000 beats every day. Whether you know it or not, whether you think about it or not, think about it. Um, 100,000 beats a day, 2,000 gallons of blood. Um, and every three days, you get a whole brand new supply of red blood cells that it's having to, that it's having to push through everything. And it looks about like that on the inside too, if that freaks you out. Um, but it's pushing that every day. So with that, know about your heart, learn about your heart, Take care of your heart because, well, yeah, you can get another one. You can get a replacement, but really, is it going to be nearly as good as the one you got in your chest? Probably not, and it's going to wear out in about 15, 20 years. You have to put another one in you. So take care of the one you got because it will last you an entire lifetime if you do. A couple ways to take care of that. First off, get rid of the stress. Be happy. Be loved. Um, have some chocolate. I'm going to throw that there because everybody loves chocolate. Have the right kind of chocolate. Get something that's 90% cacao. Uh, that will help out tremendously with cardiovascular health. Uh, so will fish oil, essential fatty acids. Need those. Need a lot of those. Um, some grapes. Grapes should extract. A little wine. A glass of wine every day does actually help out with that. Um, French wine is the best. I'm French. I have to push the French wine. Um, and uh, pomegranate. Uh, you've never really looked at a pomegranate and dissected a pomegranate. <coughs> Chop that thing up. And you're going to be very surprised to realize that it looks a whole lot like a heart. Kind of like that. Did you see that? That's a pomegranate when it reaches split it in half. It looks just like a heart. Incredible. Imagine that. It looks like a heart. It helps your heart. It heals your heart very, 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 very well. So, have a little bit of that every day. Take care of your heart. Live, laugh, love. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with your next vitamin. And I'm taking tons of time on these. Sorry. They're supposed to be vitamins. It's supposed to be a minute. But we're taking over time because... It's things I want you to know about. Have a good weekend. See you tomorrow.